Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a pretty sweet idea for a new Tinkercad castle. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to name it. I'm going to name mine Castle MDH5. And then we are going to start with an awesome part of this project down in all. We are going to use the brick wall. When it comes out, it is a large brick wall. I'm going to spin around and look at it from the front. I'm going to instead change it to a single piece of brick wall. I want it to be two thick. I want it to be four high. And I want it to be three in depth. And then I want to go down to the rows and I want it to be one and one. And then click the depth noise and then click the edge and let's zoom in and look at what we just built. We have got a sweet little single brick. What we're going to do with this is the awesome duplicate and rotate trick so that we get a sweet tower. First change your grid to 0.5 then do control D and make sure you use the arrow keys to nudge it and then rotate it 22.5 degrees. Nudge it till it gets right to the corner making sure you do not touch anything else and then do control D again and again and again to turn that single brick into a sweet tower. Grab all the bricks and press D to drop them to the right height. If you're looking at them closely, these bricks show up a little bit underground when they begin. That fixes it. With them all still selected, do control D. Do control up arrow to raise them up. Make sure you're looking at it from the front and notice I'm trying to not click the shapes. So I'm getting them to the height that I think looks cool without clicking anything. I'll look at it from that corner again. And now I'm going to rotate it a few degrees. Notice I have to come out further to get it like that. And now when we do control D again and again and again, it records that and we can raise it up. And I want to raise it up to a moderate height so that it's not too bulky. Because if you select this, you'll notice we've already made 200 shapes. I'm going to grab this whole thing and move it more towards the middle of my project. Although I want to make sure I'm looking at it from the front. I'm going to switch to the size 5 grid. I'm going to grab the whole project. And I'm going to do control D. And with that size 5 nudge. I'm going to simply nudge it across until it looks pretty decent. You can see here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half centimeters in between it. I like that. So I'm going to grab the whole thing and do control D. And let's nudge those back so there's about four and a half between it as well. There's one, two, three, and those two together. I'm going to go one more to get my four and a half. That's pretty square, so I'm pretty happy. Let me show you how easy it is to make our walls. Once again, we're going to bring out this wall. And then when we drop it in, instead of a width of 50, we're going to try that 45 and see if it fits right to this edge wait for it to group you can see that those do touch really well so I'm going to use that for every side now I only want my wall to come up halfway so instead of a height of 50 I'm going to do a height of 25 and see what that looks like that's pretty decent but I'm still going to change it to 20 and then I'm going to pull it out so I'm going to switch my nudge back to one millimeter pull it out a couple bricks so it's more on the edge of the building and then this is where you turn them into bricks again. So right now we've got five rows by three columns. So C1, two, three. Let's change that to nine columns. Now they look a lot more like bricks. And then instead of five, I want to change it to eight. So they're closer in size to these, although I don't terribly mind if they're a little more bulky. And then I want the front wall to be less thick. So see this depth? I'm going to make it 5. See how I like that? You do have to wait for it to draw. And I do like those bricks. I think they fit. But don't forget we also have to do D to drop to get them to the right height. Now I want the people to be able to stand behind this. So I'm going to do Control D. 
and I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it back. And the one behind it, I'm only going to make 15 high. So we've instantly got somewhere for our people to stand. I want them to have a little more room to stand, so I'm going to make it a depth of 8. Now I'm going to take that and control D duplicate it. Use my arrow keys to move it to the other side where it needs to be. And then find that sweet flip tool and flip it the way that it needs to be. Grab those all. Notice it says four shapes. Control D. Rotate 90 degrees. And we have instantly made a pretty sweet castle. Now notice our measurements are a little bit off. We can fix that by doing two things. One, with our one millimeter nudge, we can just nudge over till it touches, or we could change the size of the numbers. I am gonna instead just move the pieces, nudge, 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 nudge. Do be careful. You can see I missed. So I'm gonna grab again, making sure I've got all those parts. And now when I nudge, it's easy to get it where it's supposed to be. So that easily we made a castle. Now let's make a way in to our castle. I'm gonna turn around so I'm looking at it from the front and I want that front corner. And we are gonna to return to the basic shapes. And I am gonna make my entrance with a round roof and a box. So bring out the box. And I have found that the number we need is 10 and I'm gonna go 12 high. And then we want to put the work plane on top and we're going to bring out the round roof and of course we got to change it to 10 as well and then to keep it the right arch size we do five and then you can take those two items and line them up i like to set the work plane back to the ground grab the two of them click a line click the red one notice we already had it this way we just need to line it up this way. When those two are together, I want you to group them. And then I want you to do control D, move one to the side and make the other one a hole. Let's go in between our towers. And if you grab these walls, so notice it says three shapes selected. If you do center and then click on one of the walls, it gives you the exact center where that wall hole needs to be. Make sure it's poking out both sides. You can see mine poking out right there. And when you group it, all of a sudden you've got a sweet entryway, even arched. We're going to take this one and turn it into the door. You can choose the thickness you want. I'm going to choose a thickness of five. And then I'm going to make it look wooden by putting a wood color on it. I'm going to do that same shift click so I have both of them selected. When I do a line, I'm going to say, yo, I care about the bricks, and then poof, my door is in the exact right place. Let's quickly add some metal to our door to make it a little safer or a little stronger. Bring out a box, hold down shift, and then type the number one so it's a nice thin strip. Let's zoom into that little part and change its radius to two so it's a little bit rounded. And then grab one of the black handles and stretch it out a little bit. And then click on your shape and remember our door is 10 across so let's simply type the number 10 right there make it black so it looks like it's made out of some sort of metal or iron and then click the door and choose that middle so it's aligned i'm going to do control up to raise it up and then i'm going to nudge it in so it's part of the door to make that grid look the way you want do something like 0.5 and that way it pokes out do control up and raise it up and all of a sudden your door looks a lot stronger let's go to the towers and make these look a little cooler watch this if you just do delete on every other one all of a sudden it looks like there are pieces that the people can fight in between and do that on every side let's also add a princess I'm gonna set the work plane to right here and if we go to all shapes there is an awesome carcassonne on page number three. When you bring out the carcassonne, it gives you this little character figure. This dude is inns and cathedrals. And if we zoom in on him, so I'm gonna do fit view, 
I'm going to find that rotation handle so I can stand him up. If I do D to drop, he is now standing on top of my castle. He is also quite huge. So to make him look the right size, I'm going to hold down Shift and shrink him. That looks pretty good. And are you ready for this? One click, boom, princess. That's how easy it is to add a princess. You could add eyes, all kinds of cool stuff to make her more princessy. But you can add all kinds of cool things the same way. I'm going to set the work plane back to the ground. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate her, move her back, hit D to drop her, and then are you ready? I'm going to change her into a pig. Boom. Traders and builders. Pigs need to be pink. Pigs need to be pink. I'm going to set the pig over in the corner. Rotate it. Press D to drop her to the ground real quick. I'm going to take that pig and make another pig. And then if I hold down shift and squish it, it becomes smaller and I've got a pig and a baby pig. Alrighty friends, so as you can see, there is a ton you can do to make this castle look awesome. It does get a little complex, it does slow your computer down, but oh my gosh, is it cool. Friends, if you make something incredible, make sure you share it with us at HLModTech on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Just a simple picture makes my day when I see the cool things that you're creating. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.